Midnight in the Pantry by Edgar Guest You can boast your round of pleasures, praise the sound of popping corks, where the orchestra is playing to the rattle of the forks, and your after-opera dinner you may think superbly fine, but that can't compare, I'm certain, to the joy that's always mine, when I reach my little dwelling, source of all sincere delight, and I prowl around the pantry in the waning hours of night. When my business, or my pleasure, has detained me until late, and it's midnight, say, or after, when I reach my own estate, though I'm weary with my toiling, I don't hustle up to bed, for the inner man is hungry, and he's anxious to be fed. Then I feel a thrill of glory from my head down to my feet, as I prowl around the pantry after something good to eat. Oft I hear a call above me, Goodness gracious, come to bed! And I know that I've disturbed her by my over-eager tread. But I've found a glass of jelly and some bread and butter, too, and a bit of cold fried chicken, and I answer, When I'm through? Oh, there's no café that better serves my precious appetite than the pantry in our kitchen when I get home late at night. You may boast your shining silver and the linen and the flowers and the music and the laughter and the lights that hang in showers. You may have your café table with its brilliant array, but it doesn't charm yours truly when I'm on my homeward way for a greater joy awaits me as I hunger for a bite, just the joy of pantry prowling in the middle of the night.